I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll take a look and see what's coming up. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Aquarius, recent past energy between you and your person. Two of Swords, and it's with the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Two of Swords, it tells us that your partnerships, they're likely to be going at least somewhat well, whether these are friendships, whether it's romantic, or maybe business. However, you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person and if you are not it could be time to bring things back into balance now this will almost certainly require open communication that's the two of swords now it's with this eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles it actually points to necessary efforts you could have a lot on your plate that you need to accomplish. Dedication to the task is important. But if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So be clear on what you're trying to accomplish and strive for balance. Because no one can or should work all the time. But this Eight of Pentacles, it can indicate a period of hard work. Yeah, as you can see in the picture, he's working non-stop. The Eight of Pentacles is a card below the word pass. He gets up every morning before sunrise, he starts to work. And he, he goes all the way through the day and afternoon. And it looks like it's going into nighttime and he's still working. And on top of that, the raindrops are huge. So, this is indicating a very hard work period. Now, this does not have to be negative, but you do have to be prepared for it. So, Aquarius, basically, the recent past energy between you and your person, Two of Swords, clarified by the Seed of Pentacles, what I'm picking up on is that for a lot of you, 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 you could have put in a lot of energy and work into a relationship with your person or with the person you were dealing with, or you wanted to work hard on it. But this person, um, well, the Two of Swords is, is indicating that they, they started to avoid you. Or it felt like they were avoiding you. Yeah, you might have felt like this person ghosted you. Yeah, because the Two of Swords can be about avoiding. It can be about blocking someone. Um, yeah, but it's interesting because you felt like you put a lot of work into the connection. And then they just... I don't know, did they just, did, it, did they ghost you or some type of avoiding and a block, you know, avoiding or blocking happened? Yeah, so that's a recent past energy between you and your person. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the Fool and it's with the Knight of Cups. Now, the Fool card is actually an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways, it can indicate the purity. And it can indicate the open-hearted energy and innocence of a child. We know children, they're trusting. And trust forms the meaning for this card. And this is considered a positive card. But there could be one thing it's going to be important for you to be sure that you're looking where you're going. As you can see in the picture, he's not. 
trust your, if you're trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. Now, the full card is with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a good card to get in a reading. It's very optimistic. Now, this one is a, actually, it, this one is actually a message bearer. It comes bearing messages. Usually, these are the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. It tells us that things are going to be going well. You're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. This card is good news, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Yeah, someone's coming towards you. They're um, coming your way. So, coming up, Aquarius, the Fool clarified by this Knight of Cups. So, yet, yeah, your person, the person, whoever this was that um, started to block you, or it could have felt like they, they just left, or they ghosted you. It looks like they could be reaching out to you. Knight of Cups, like I said, is a, a message. It comes with messages. Um, someone reaching out. They're reaching out, being romantic and sensitive. Um, they could try to... Um, it can be about sweeping you off your feet, reaching out, being romantic and sensitive. And because it's with the full card here, it looks like... Yeah, you're going to take a leap of faith and go for it. Or you could be thinking that. Yeah, you you want to you want to give it a shot. Cuz the fool card just is ready for it. They just jump right on in. So, yeah, your person for some of you, your person is they they they're coming back. And it's showing that um you want to go for it, yeah. You're gonna take a leap of faith and jump right on, jump right on, jump right back in there. Even though they withdrew or they ghosted you, you, you want to give it another shot. That's what it's showing. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Six of Wands. And it's with this Two of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Wands actually signals victory. If you're anxious about a court proceeding, or you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you will be victorious. This can indicate some type of celebration. Maybe, maybe you're a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration. Or you could be receiving a reward for good work that you've done. Six of Wands makes you feel really, really good about yourself. You could feel as if you have a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Yeah. Six of Wands is about victory, success, recognition. Yeah, it's a very good card in the deck. Now, it's with this Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles can be about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking is not your friend when you get the Two of Pentacles. So you may need to cut down on things you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. Maybe your financial situation needs to be more balanced, so be sure that you're paying attention there. So your challenge, Six of Wands, clarified by this Two of Pentacles. So yeah, Aquarius, like I said, this person, it looks like they're reaching out to you. They could be texting you or stopping by. Um, maybe they want to explain to you why they, they vanished or they blocked you. But it says, the night, it's saying that the, the, with the Knight of Cups here, that they're coming in to be romantic and sensitive. And maybe sweep you off your feet. And you're going for it. But the challenge is showing that 
Yeah, you two will be victorious. There's going to be a lot. It's going to feel like, well, the Six of Wands, you get a lot of great chemistry. So the two of you are going to be like, ooh, I'm picking up a lot of passion. Yeah, because the Six of Wands, when it talks about love and relationships, it suggests that you you could be the type, for, for example, you could be the type that needs someone to boost your ego while the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. Now, this is called Fire of Balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. With this type of... Um, with this type of energy, you can get, well, you can expect a lot of sexual energy. And there's passion and long nights spent in bed, so. <laughs> yeah, you two will be drawn to each other. Um, if you take a look at the Six of Wands, you see how, it's a card above the word challenge. You see how this lady, she's standing up on a podium. She's waving her wand in the air, and she's got all these people below her, and they're doing the same thing she's doing. They're mimicking her. So, yeah, there's a lot of chemistry there. Um, to me, in my opinion, the Six of Wands is kind of like my, it's kind of like that twin flame energy. Two, the two of you mirror each other. And it just feels like there's, the chemistry is so, so powerful. So when the two of you do come together, the, the chemistry is going to be just on point or at a peak. And there's a lot of passion that the two of you will feel for each other. But there's always a but, right? But it's with this two of pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is indicating that even though the two of you come together and you two make magic, um, there's going to be this, you have this feeling that, you're going to have, you're going to always have this feeling that your person is not going to stick around because, because of what they did before. Yeah, because the Two of Pentacles can be about back and forth. Here and there, doing this, doing that. So it's embedded in your head that your person is going to just make busy or just won't have time for you. But the two of you come together, you two um, connect in a very passionate way, and it's going to feel victorious. You two will connect. And you're just going to have those thoughts that, in the back of your head, that your person is going to do the same thing you did before. Or, or for some of you, your person is maybe long distance, or they work a lot. Because I'm looking at the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. That can actually sometimes mean that your person, they, they, they do a lot or they work a lot. But for what I'm getting for most of you, you're going to feel like it's always going to be in the back of your head. That your person is going to just block and avoid you like they did before. Or, or ghost you. It's just in your head. It's embedded. Or they're going to make busy. Yeah, Two of Pentacles can be about just being busy and not making the connection a priority. But um, that's a challenge. Let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We have the Knight of Pentacles and a sort of Judgment. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is actually a really good energy. It's a solid, stable type of energy. It's... um. Yeah, it's a very practical, patient type. And very, this person of the Nine of Pentacles is a very protective energy. Um, not, not afraid of commitment, this Nine of Pentacles. Um, it's about stability. 
But it's with judgment, though. Now, judgment can be occurred about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and, of course, judgments, judgments that are made too hastily. And if you're prone to doing such things, it could be a sign to slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances. This can also be a time of spiritual awakening. So, Aquarius, the outcome, Knight of Pentacles, clarified by judgment. So, yeah, it's showing, like I said, it's showing that um, for some of you, you're just going to be afraid that this person is going to do what they did before. Make you feel like the connection is not a priority. That's a challenge. But you do come together in a very victorious way. Yeah, and you two will feel like you're really drawn to each other like never before. You want to jump on in there and it looks like you are. Your person for the outcome with the Knight of Pentacles here, they could be letting you know that they want commitment this time. They want something solid and stable with you. But yeah, it looks like judgment is here though. You could be judging them really... Um, really harshly or just jumping to conclusions. You're being very judgmental against them, man. Yeah, of course you are, because the recent past energy is showing that they, you were working hard on the connection. You were putting in a lot of energy and effort, and then they just kind of like I said, they could have ghosted you or blocked you or started to avoid you. So, yeah, you got some concerns here about your person. You're jumping to conclusions about maybe whatever they tell you or whatever they do. And you're having a hard time offering forgiveness because the judgment card... It's about having a hard time offering forgiveness. But they, they do want to um, make this more stable and committed. They could be wanting something solid this time. But there's some there's issues that you need to work through. Or maybe they just need to prove themselves. But the outcome is showing with judgment here, the c connection... It's actually at a make or break. It could go, it could go either way. They're wanting solid, so they want, they're wanting something solid and stable now, but you can't, you're having a hard time forgetting what they did. So that is the reading that I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below on the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you. How you see yourself. Best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Aquarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, keep in mind um, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates, because once again, these 
are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Aquarius, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I wish you all of you the best for the New Year's, for the New Year, best of 2021. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.